Hi sisters, my name is Tanya Munoz and I hope you are all enjoying yourselves at convention. I was asked by our national board to do this short video and tell you ladies a little bit about my story and also speak on why it is so important to have a philanthropy in your life, whether it's one through an organization such as Lamp Theta Alpha or an individual one that is very um, personal and dear to you. Um, my name is Tanya. I pledged in the fall of 2003 at Brookers University, Epsilon Chapter. I was APM in the fall of 2005 and PM in the spring of 2006, which is the semester I graduated from Rutgers. After I graduated, I started working for NBC Universal, and then after I started working, I decided to go to law school. During my first year of law school, I got sick and was diagnosed with CIDP, chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy, which is basically in an autoimmune illness which you have your immune system attacking your nervous system specifically your peripheral nerves um, it causes various symptoms such as weakness numbness tingling loss of balance uh, fatigue um, and a lot more if left uncontrolled and untreated and these are all symptoms I had and started to get worse because um, as soon as I began treatment, I didn't respond to treatment as uh, other people have. So um, I saw several doctors who tried different things with me, and I was just not able to go into remission, and I was not able to get better um, seeing them. So I reached out to Northwestern because I had read about and um, heard that they were doing stem cell transplants, also known as bone marrow transplants, um, to CIDP patients to put them into remission from it. So um, I knew it was still in a clinical trial and it was still in the experimental phases. And I went out there in Chicago and um, I turned out to qualify for the study. So I decided to participate in this study and I had the transplant in June. I was actually the eighth person in the United States to um, have this transplant. Uh, I believe I was the only Latina to have the transplant so far for CIDP. And um, I'm very hopeful. The first person in the United States that had this transplant for CIDP um, is in remission. And it's been five years since her transplant. So it, things are, are looking really hopeful and um, not only for people that um, get diagnosed with CIDP but other autoimmune um, diseases, it looks like things are basically going to be this way in order to put your remission from, from different autoimmune diseases such as lupus, um, scordoma, etc. Even multiple sclerosis, my doctor's also working on that clinical trial. So. Um, I had this transplant done. Um, I actually received a bone marrow transplant of my own stem cells. So I had my stem cells collected and right before um, I had them collected I did receive chemo. It was the first time and um, obviously I lost my hair and um, but when when you're so sick losing your hair really doesn't matter. <laughs> So um, that, that, was, that was not really a big deal at all. So I had chemo, and um, during collection, I'll tell you a little bit about it. During collection, they basically, um, before collection, they basically give you growth hormones, these Neupogen shots, where your um, bone marrow produces massive amounts of stem cells, and then these stem cells are collected by uh, a wave of filtration. So they actually filter your blood and then they can collect these stem cells. So that's how people donate their own bone marrow to people. So um, it's actually not difficult at all. Compared to everything else that a transplant um, deals with, it's not difficult whatsoever. Um, and like I said, I was very fortunate to have this transplant done and to have my own stem cells used because a lot of other people um, have to wait for donors. So on top of the financial cost, on top of being sick with chemo while waiting um, for a donor, some of these people 
die because they have to wait and um that's why i i feel so lucky to have been able to have my own stem cells and uh basically i today i hope or whenever the drive is i hope a lot of you sign up to be a bone marrow donor or help organize a drive at your schools or let your friends and family know of um, the need for bone marrow donors because there is huge need um, or also organize a blood drive or donate blood yourselves because it also something extremely needed during transplants um, so I just you know wanted to share that with you and also share that I had I have met several people um, while I was at Northwestern some that were sick some waiting for donors or and also I met a donor which um, put me at ease before the collection because I was really amazed I was like wow you know she's donating her own stem cells for the second time and here I am all worried and no nervous about donating them to myself so um, it's really really it was really amazing to see that in someone else um, and once again I just wanted to to say that I hope you all unite for whether it's this cause um, or another cause very dear to you it's so important there's so many people that need your support and and your your help whether it's um you know by donating um just supporting organizing different events financially for research purposes there's a lot of need out there and i hope you all have a cause that um is dear to you and work towards helping that cause i also wanted to take this time to thank all the sisters for all the support um before i got sick during um my transplant and after i still receive all these nice messages from different sisters that I've never met um, and it's it was really really moving and amazing to see all the support that I got from different people um, and you know it feels really good to be in New Jersey but I enjoyed my time in Chicago when I wasn't really sick and um, I also received a lot of support from sisters in Chicago um, two of them came to see me at the hospital and they were definitely reached out to me. I wish I could have seen more, but I was so sick. Um, I really couldn't be around people. Uh, so I just want to thank you all for your support. Thank my chapter sisters. Thank my line sisters. And everybody that has um, national board that has supported me throughout this process. And um, I wanted to also remind you that I'm not the only sister that's sick. There are a lot of other people that have had transplants before um I actually know of one that is going through a transplant now and it's her second transplant so um i think a lot more people knew about mine because it um i came out on tv but um there's definitely a lot of other people i'm not the only one um so i hope if you do know them you support them because it's so it's very difficult and really what gets you through is your faith, your friends, your sisters, your family. Well, at least that's what got me through. Um, so thank you again. Love you all. And um, thank you for listening.